Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and welcome to part 2 of uh, how to create a, an image gallery using pure CSS3 with a JS fallback using modernizer. So so this is the uh, pure CSS gallery in Google Chrome but which turns to a JS gallery in uh, i9, 8 and 7 as we saw in the first part. right? So let's let's uh, you know look at the code let's recreate the uh, the different files and let's understand how this was actually done now notice out here uh, in the body of the document we have a ul list with a class of slides which has four li, li items with four images inside ideally uh, an li has a top down hierarchy or a top down structure it's never a pile or a stack but in our case it is the four pictures are in the form of a stack or a pile how was uh, how did that actually happen because of styles.css attached to the html document if you see the class slides has a position of relative and li's inside slides has a class you know a position property of absolute uh, with the left and top position set to a zero that ensures that all the four pictures are tucked in the top left corner placed over each other causing it to become a pile or a stack so position relative for the you know the parent and uh, for the ally the child uh, position absolute and tucking all the four pictures in the top left corner so that ensures that all the four pictures are in the form of a slide okay the most important f uh, you know file of the whole uh, project is slice.css now what's the logic see there are four pictures in a stack if we create if we cause only one picture to have an opacity of one the rest to have an opacity of zero only one picture is going to show up and then uh, one by one we're going to change that so at one given point of time only one picture has an opacity of one the rest have an opacity of zero and that creates the effect that you actually see that's the simple logic that has been used out here so people uh, let me just you know select all the code and delete it and slowly I'm gonna inject in the code and I'm gonna explain it to you okay let's bring uh, the first chunk of code in right now since I'm supporting the webkit browsers uh, I'm using the dash webkit dash vendor prefix uh, with my at the k uh, at, at the rate keyframes rule now at the rate keyframe rules uh, keyframes rule uh, define the different keyframes cycle one is the name of the animation right uh, now this cycle one is going to be applied to the first image cycle to the to the second image cycle three to the third and cycle four to the four uh, fourth image since there are four images we we're going to have four different animations cycle one cycle two cycle three cycle four okay let's understand how the opacity was altered for cycle one see I've used only dash webkit dash although you should use other vendor prefixes too but just for simplicity sake I'm not using uh, a lot of them in the first state or the initial state the opacity is one it stays up to one till 21 percent and then drops from here to here uh, between 21 to 25 percent it drops out so that's a fade out process St you know uh, from 25 to 50 the opacity is zero from 75 from 50 to 75 it is zero uh, then up to 96 it is zero but from 96 to 100 it's actually one so that's a fade in process right so we have a small fade in and a small fade out process uh, but for the most uh, you know for the major time for the biggest span the opacity is actually zero for some small period it's actually one see the total uh, duration of cycle one is 16 seconds it's opaque or completely visible for four seconds completely almost completely invisible for 12 seconds so that is the theory that we are actually working upon okay so we keep the you know the, the first image visible for four seconds invisible for 12 seconds with a you know small fade in fade out which we 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 can consider as as visible itself 
okay so this is going to be applied to one of the images let's bring in cycle 2 as well this is going to be applied to the second image again cycle 2 has a duration of 16 seconds which we're going to see very soon uh, in the initial state the opacity is 0 up to uh, the 21st percent is 0 2 then a fade-in happens between 21 to 25 okay so 4 percentage uh, span of fade-in 25 to 46 complete opaque from 46 to 50 drops out so that's a fade out uh, seven up to 75 again 0 up to 100 again 0 so basically visible for 4 seconds and visible for 12 seconds but if you notice the visibility time has actually changed so when this is visible this is not and when this is visible this is not you know, that's the theory that we are actually working upon all right let's inject the cycle 3 which is going to be applied to the third image okay this way cycle 3 again has a duration of 16 seconds um, again the opacity and transparency times are different that ensures that one, when the first image is visible the second and third are not when the second is visible first and third are not and when the third is visible first and second are not that's the theory so simple people again uh, add zero at 0 invisible, at 25 invisible, at 46 invisible and there is a um, fade in between 46 and 50 percent so and there's a fade out between 71 and 75 percent okay so visibility of 4 seconds invisibility of 12 seconds correct and for the fourth picture this rule is gonna uh, apply itself invisible here invisible here invisible out here to the fade-in happens very late this time between 71 and 75 and fades out between 96 and 100 so 12 seconds of invisibility 4 seconds of visibility right for different pictures we have different visibility times uh, times and different invisible uh, invisible times or transparency times and opacity times are different for different images but they are always uh, 4 and 12 so 4 seconds of visibility and uh, transparent for uh, 12 seconds and opaque for 4 seconds right but since the uh, the, the timings are uh, different only one image shows at at one given point of time so simple people and just to support Microsoft Internet Explorer I'm gonna change the vendor prefix gonna copy cycle one out here just change the vendor prefix to MS to support Microsoft Internet Explorer I'm gonna do the same here for cycle 2 that's gonna be applied to the second image again cycle 2 has a duration of 16 seconds matching the first cycle cycle 1 which again has a duration of uh, 16 seconds 12 seconds of visibility 4 seconds of invisibility All right let's copy this bit just change the vendor prefix people to MS to support Microsoft Internet Explorer I'm not using I've not used any other vendor prefix people doesn't mean you should not okay so let's copy this bit and just paste it out here Mm, just change the vendor prefix out here okay so this is how I've actually created my four cycles every cycle has a duration of 16 seconds wherein uh, there's a you know a, a four uh, percentage of fade in four percentage of fade out uh, almost you know um, in effect causing uh, 12 seconds of transparency and uh, four seconds of opacity different timings for different images so that only one shows up at, at one given point of time let me inject some more code and let's talk you through slowly yep so since there's a lot of code people it's quite difficult to write it out quickly that's gonna consume a lot of time so I'm just you know doing a copy and a paste okay now if you remember let's go to slides.html 
the UL list or the unordered list has a class of slides. All right. So li items inside slides, the nth child one, We're basically targeting the first child, this one, melon.jpg. This is the first child, nth child one. This is the nth child two, nth child three, nth child four. Right? So I'm saying nth child one targeting the first image should undergo animation. Which animation? Cycle one, which was defined right about here, people. Cycle one. Over 16 seconds in a linear manner. Uh, at the same rate. Linear means at the same rate. And should be infinite. Never ending. That's the reason our gallery never ends. It goes on and on and on. So this is vendor prefix for Chrome. This is vendor prefix for um, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay. So from here on to write the code is very very simple people. All you need to do is just copy this bit paste it down below out here out here and out here change the nth child 1 to nth child 2 targeting the second image which is oranges <coughs> calling cycle 1 cycle 2 here and here okay this is going to target the third image and the animation is going to be cycle 3. Just everything remains just the same. This is going to tar target nth child 4 or the fourth image. But the animation that should be run is cycle 4 and cycle 4. Alright. Animation duration for cycle 1, 2, 3, and 4 is 16 seconds in a linear fashion this is animation short and property people this is how you're gonna use it and this is the total duration infinite is never ending that always goes on all right so basically every cycle this is the name of the animation animation name whether it's cycle one two or three or four is 16 seconds and the iterate keyframe rules defines it in such a manner that there's uh, you know there's a four second of uh, opacity complete op almost you know complete opacity you can consider the fade and fade out as complete opacity you know just um, loosely speaking and the rest of the time which is 12 seconds is uh, complete transparency and since cycle 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 and cycle 4 display the opacity and transparency at different times at one given point of time only one image is visible while the other three are completely transparent and that happens turn by turn that's the whole logic one picture is going to be visible the other three going to be transparent then the second picture is going to be visible from the top the top one the bottom two is going to be in invisible and we just keep on swapping the transparency and the opacity in a very logical manner making sure that at one given point of time only one is uh, visible the others are see-through or invisible all right people so uh, this is where I'm gonna wind up the uh, second part the tutorial is obviously gonna spill into the third one too and I'll see you there you have a good day bye bye peace